Ever attempt a speed run through your favorite video game? Well, you've never seen anything like these. Witness out of this world speed runs involving classic Mario games, blindfolded players, and Dark Souls, to name a few. Just don't blink or you might miss these fascinating accomplishments. But before we start, how about you speed run over to that subscribe button? You'll join our notification squad and be the first to know of any new content. Prepare yourself for 10 jaw-dropping speed runs that you need to see. GoldenEye The James Bond video game adaptation for GoldenEye for the Nintendo 64 is mainly known for its excellent multiplayer action but the game actually features a single-player campaign mode that follows the plot of the movie. One level with a lot of speedruns is entitled Streets. The level is set up as a maze and players must navigate their way around city elements to quickly escape. The limited graphics on the Nintendo 64 make this even more of a challenge. One of the fastest times you can get in the Streets level in GoldenEye is 1 minute and 12 seconds. This was done by gamer Ryan Lockwood, who used skill and luck to do the nearly impossible. In this amazing speedrun performance, this guy acts like James Bond on speed as he weaves between cars, shoots down enemies, and finds the quickest route through the streets. The video really picks up when he's able to quickly shoot off a guard and take his grenade launcher. Moments later, he's launching grenades, shooting his body through the sky, and then setting off a couple of huge explosions that end the level. Very, very few have ever achieved the same goal with such accuracy and glorious precision. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out Playing Mike Tyson's Punch-Out may feel like you're just slamming down the A and B buttons over and over again, but there's actually a lot of strategy and timing to the game. Years after the game's original release in 1987, players are still mastering the sequences and delivering multiple knockout punches to opponents. Going through a speedrun on Mike Tyson's Punch-Out became so easy for players that they decided to up the ante. A player by the name of Sinister decided to do a speedrun through the game blindfolded and in front of a group of other gamers. The result is a complete domination of the game that gets completed in a little less than 40 minutes. Using only the sound effects presented in the game, Sinister punches, weaves, and impresses as boxers get knocked around the screen. He does get hit a few times, but they are few and far between the fast-paced action showcased on screen. As the video goes on, it only gets better, as he easily wins bouts. In other videos, Sinistro stays blindfolded to go head-to-head -head against other players and challenge them in a race to beat Punch-Out. If the original Punch-Out isn't enough for you, then check out some of the speed races for its Super Nintendo sequel, Super Punch-Out. Super Mario 64 While the original Super Mario Bros. offers basic level-to-level -level speedrun options, it's a little different for Super Mario 64. There are actually two ways to complete a speedrun, and each one is really impressive. The first way involves some very creative glitches and errors that players have discovered through the years. A gamer with a tag of Funilla SM64 dives, jumps, and bursts through multiple levels as he makes seemingly impossible jumps, defeats Bowser with ease, and can travel to any level without collecting a single star. The speedrun for the completion of the game clocks in at just 6 minutes and 41 seconds. Princess Peach would be proud. Another speedrun method for Super Mario 64 is to collect all of the stars and truly beat the game. A gamer named Siglemic was the first ever to collect all 120 stars found in the game in just 1 hour and 43 minutes. Using his video and strategy, the record has been broken numerous times, but it is still awesome to watch the world record run from when it first happened. He knows levels in and out, can easily defeat opponents with a single move. He also played a marathon session without making a single mistake. You will never look at Super Mario 64 the same again. Skyrim For a role-playing game like Skyrim, the goal isn't always speed, but immersion in the game. The creators want players to discover the world, interact with other characters, and build up enough skills to defeat the main dragon at the end. For some speedrunners, however, that wasn't good enough. Despite being packed with content, Skyrim was completed by a speedrunner in less than a half hour. For many players, that's not even long enough to get past a lot of the cutscenes. 
Skyrim has a lot of side quests and extra missions, so this 30 minute speedrun only focuses on the main quest and core of the game. Completed by a YouTuber named Waz, this is one of the more entertaining speedruns to watch as Waz sprints, runs, and makes his way through various settings in the world. He even has time to stop at the local town store to pick up a few potions for his journey. It's crazy to see the speech choices and interactions made almost instantly. Everything leads up to a huge dragon battle at the end that ends in just a matter of seconds. With a giant open world like Skyrim, this is even more impressive than some of the more basic games that people complete speedruns on. How is that even possible? Portal 2 Puzzle solving games can be challenging, but when levels are always the same, it makes it a lot easier to figure out various puzzles, solve them, and increase your rate of speed every single time. This is the case for speedruns in the original Portal game. Gamers are able to create extremely fast runs after discovering the various solutions to different areas. Things were taken to a whole different level in Portal 2 because the co-op mode was introduced. The space game sends players on different missions to escape test chambers and make it out of a high-tech facility. Sure, two players could get through the level at a brisk pace, but what if one player was controlling both co-op players at the same time? That is exactly what YouTube user Azorai did in Portal 2. Using a dual controller and possibly two brains, the man showcased incredible coordination as he controlled two players, quickly solving puzzles and racing through the whole game in under 45 minutes. Azorai repeated the same process over and was able to beat his old record by an extra couple of minutes later. A lot of players couldn't even defeat Portal 2 with an actual teammate using the other controller. Breath of the Wild the new Legend of Zelda game for the Nintendo Switch has been out for less than a year, but people are already completing speedruns and challenging other players to do the same. The vastness of the game has presented a crazy speedrun challenge for players. Their goal is to get 100% completion in the game. Within a few months after the Switch's release, a player by the name of Zalika did this crazy task and uploaded it with a 50-hour marathon video. To complete 100% of the game, Zalika had to collect all 120 shrines, gathering every upgrade, and going through every single quest. This includes side quests and mini quests that are packed into the game. If you love the game, this is not only a great speedrun, but it's the ultimate walkthrough for every nook and cranny. If you're looking for pure speed in Breath of the Wild, then you should watch the speedrun completed by Gymnast86. Link speeds through levels, slices his sword, and defeats enemies in under 45 minutes. When considering the recent trend of Zelda games, it takes almost that long to play through most of the tutorial levels. The only question we have is did he complete this feat on a television or using the small Nintendo Switch screen? Now that would be impressive. Super Mario World For Mario's ambitious sequel on the Super Nintendo, he didn't just travel through the Mushroom Kingdom, but traveled on Yoshi's all around the world. The journey typically takes players a few weeks to complete, unless you're a speedrunner that can win the whole game in a matter of minutes. This is impressive, but it's been done so many times that players needed to up the ante. This is where a trusty blindfold comes in. A gamer by the name of Pangea Ponga strapped on a blindfold and went through the whole game in 15 minutes and 59 seconds. He used the original SNES controller to play the game and didn't rely on upgraded controllers or computer keyboards to speed up his playing time. Another awesome Super Mario World run to check out is actually a run completed in a hacked version of the game entitled Super Dram World. The game features enhanced villains, challenging levels, and some of the hardest obstacles ever seen in a Mario game. The gamer Grand Pooh Bear is able to defeat two world records in one sitting by beating the game 100% and having a faster time than anyone who skipped worlds or levels. His final time on that run clocks in at 36 minutes. He didn't skip a single level. Dark Souls The 2011 release of Dark Souls is not just a very long game, but it's a very challenging one. Enemies are hard to beat, levels are hard to navigate, and boss battles get even crazier. A gamer named NaxHPL was able to make his journey through the game in only 25 minutes and 7 seconds. 
He climbs through dungeons, goes through castles, and constantly has his sword ready to do battle. The key to his success in this speedrun is his ability to use a special glitch that moves him forward in the game and skips a lot of conflict. During the speedrun, Nax records himself during the live gaming session. As he nears the end, he feels like he's nabbed his personal best record, but he truly has no clue that he just beat a world record for a speedrun in the game. Even though he did use a glitch, he still had to have perfect timing when he faced off against giant bosses and used his skills to defeat them. Speedruns are also available for other Dark Souls games. Ocarina of Time When The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time was released for the Nintendo 64, it was one of the longest Zelda games ever created. There was so much to explore and it truly brought the whole franchise to the next generation. This makes it hard to do a speedrun through the game, but that hasn't stopped players from setting records over and over again. One of the best runs to watch from Ocarina of Time is one involving the player Cosmo speedruns. He manages to beat the game in less than 19 minutes, and that's even after making a couple of mistakes. Once he takes control of the Master Sword, it's also easy for Cosmo as he makes his way through dungeons, skips over cutscenes, and gets to the chase as Link saves the day once again. There are many different ways to play Ocarina of Time with ports available on the GameCube, Wii, and other Nintendo consoles. This gives players a lot of options for setting speed records and using controllers that they like. The Cosmo Speedrun also showcases different parts of the game and his speeds through each section. It's intense and fun to watch him reach different goals and get through some of the tougher obstacles in the game as he tries to set personal records. Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. is an example of the ultimate speedrunning game before people even knew what speedrunning is. It's easy to remember playing as a kid, racing through levels and finding out different secrets within the game. As online gaming expanded, so did the challenge of defeating the original Super Mario Bros. as quickly as possible. These races are held at video game conventions, tournaments, and through online streaming on a daily basis. While you can find dozens and dozens of Super Mario speedruns, one of the most impressive was completed by Darbian. He truly completed the perfect game of Super Mario. He has near misses with almost every bad guy, but times his jumps and runs perfectly to send Mario launching onto the flagpole. Just as Bowser falls into a pit of lava for the last time, Darbian clocked in his world record performance at 4 minutes and 56 seconds. As you watch him play, you can even see him take his eyes off the screen to glance at the clock and see the rate of his speed. It never gets old seeing the original Mario game get beat so easily. The same goes for a number of Mario hacks and new levels created using the game's mechanics and graphics. Wow, there you have it. What speed run did you think was the most impressive? Are there any great ones we missed? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to share this video and subscribe to The Gamer on YouTube so you can stay up to date with all of our awesome videos. Have a good one.